hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be packing and prepping for my trip to los angeles california it's in about two weeks today is sunday and of course we got our starbucks i've been loving the toasted vanilla and i'm here at the mall i'm gonna do some exchanges at abercrombie i got a pair of denim shorts and a pair of jeans and i'm not totally in love with them so i kind of want to try on some different styles and see what i like um because i want to take some you know just new outfits on this trip with me so this vlog is going to be all about preparing and prepping for this trip i thought it would be fun to film the process and kind of take you guys through um you know the process for selecting outfits buying different things and all of that i'm super excited to go to los angeles so if you have any recommendations if you've been there yourself or you live in the area please leave them um in the comments i would love to hear you know what's worth it and what's not I think the next vlog that I put up should be the actual trip, so if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to subscribe and stick around, and let's go into the mall and see what we can find. So I got a bullet piata, I got the chicken carbonara, it's so good. I am literally starving, you guys. This is probably a horrible angle. I don't have a car tripod. I do have one. Scratch that. I do have one, but I haven't put it up. I've had it for like two years. Anyway. I want to talk about Abercrombie and like my thoughts on the store as a whole. I think it's so freaking awesome that they like rebranded to be more inclusive but I feel like their stuff just like doesn't fit me right or something like I'm not sure why like I'm not sure why it doesn't fit me however I do not think they rebranded to be inclusive of tall girls like, their tall sizes are like shorter than regular sizes at other places um so that's one thing two i just feel like their stuff like doesn't fit me right i feel like they're now like a store that's geared for like shorter curvier girls and i don't think any of their clothes look right on me which is a shame because i like a lot of the things that they're doing i love the high-rise shorty style and they have that at like Express, Abercrombie, whatever. But the problem is like, I love the style of the short. I love how it like looks on the butt, the waist, everything. But at the end of the day, because it's a shorty, it's too short for me. And it's like not cute. So I wish they had that kind of short in a tall size. Like any store, not just Abercrombie, like Express or American Eagle or whatever. Cause I think that's the most flattering style short on my body type because it gives me some curve, but it's always too short. And I like their curved line. I think that, like, I'm more muscular and, like, athletic build. So, like, it's nice to have, like, a more comfortable short that's just not geared for people that are, like, very, very skinny. Um, but that being said, because I'm not really curvy, I'm more of, like, muscular athletic build. I feel like it just doesn't fit me right. And so I just wish there was, like, a happy medium, if that makes sense. And I feel like, in general, all their clothing is so high-waisted that... I'm just like, what the heck? This this clothing is made for people with extremely long torsos. Because the low rise like goes up to my belly button. So I don't know. I ended up returning it all, not getting anything. I like these one shorts I have from American Eagle. I forget what they're called. I think they're called like boyfriend short relax fit. And I really like those. They're definitely really flattering in like the butt and thigh area. I also have the A. Goldie Parker shorts, but... I don't know they're like okay they're nothing special for the price for sure again i think they're made for like shorter more petite girls but if you don't have that body type i feel like i wouldn't waste the money on those shorts that was just my little rant about abercrombie sizing and just shorts and women's sizing in general i love when people are transparent about like their sizing and all of that i think it's really helpful so I hope this helped you but i'm gonna eat my pasta and then head to target 
So I am back home. I'm gonna share what I picked up at Target with all of you. Um, I got two big bags of goodies. First, I got Travel Listerine Mouthwash, always an essential. I got Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist, SPF 70. I thought this was like not allowed because of the ingredients, but it's back on the shelves. And I really like this because it doesn't make me break out as much as other sunscreens. So I picked it up. I picked up some Sunbum Lip Balm. I picked up this little comb through finishing mist from Nexus. I thought it would be good to kind of set my hair as well as eliminate frizz. Um, so kind of like a two in one product that I could take because I do have some travel hairsprays, but none that really eliminate frizz. I got L'Oreal Paris um, self tanning mousse. I have never ever self tanned. Well, that's a lie. I tried to self tan once with this St. Tropez stuff that I picked up at TJ Maxx and it just like didn't work. So I don't know if it was expired or if I was doing it wrong or if it just wasn't that good. Um, but I picked this up to just try it out. Um, I kind of want to do it tonight and see like what I look like. I have literally never ever had a spray tan. I don't tan. Um, I don't know. I just, it was like $11.99. So if it sucks, it sucks. Um, I picked up some peach rings. I think it's always important to pack some snacks for the airport. The flight's pretty long. I think it's like four and a half hours to Vegas and then we have a connection there to LA and then the flight from like Vegas to LA I think is like an hour. I also got this mitt for tanning because I've never done tanning before. Um, I got a little mini travel size sports sunscreen. I thought this would be good to put in my purse for when we go to Disneyland um, instead of the big gigantic bottle. Um, I thought this would be just a little bit more compact. I really wish they had it in a higher SPF though, because 30 is pretty low for me. I also got some Smart Sweets, the Red Twists. I got two bags, one for me and one for Nick for the plane. These are definitely the best Smart Sweets in my opinion. The Swedish fish are so tacky on your teeth. The watermelon is too sour. The gummy bears just taste kind of weird. I don't know, I think I only like the licorice really. I got a bunch of hand sanitizers because I feel like I use so much hand sanitizer on trips. Um, also, I'm actually going to Orlando <laughs> the week after we go to LA. So one of these I'm gonna take to Orlando and the other two I'm gonna take to LA. But I got three hand sanitizers. I just like use so much hand sanitizer in the airport, like in the hotel room, just going out to dinner. Like I use it all. Um, and then I got this Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Little Hand Cream because I used up my other travel one. And that's all for that bag. Moving on to this bag. I got some Eyelore London Wispy Light. Um, I love these fake eyelashes. I was wearing them around Christmas, but I haven't worn them since. They just look so good, and especially if you have light eyelashes. This really, really makes a difference. So I wanted some for the trip. I got some gum, toothpaste, one for home and one for travel. I just like taking the full size because I feel like those little bottles of toothpaste, they last like two or three uses and that's it. They're good for like one night trips. Um, I got some cotton pads. I got new razors. I got some more deodorant. This is so exciting. I got kind breakfast protein bars. These are really good. I love the dark cocoa. Um, they're gluten free. They're made with quinoa and oats and they're pretty good for you actually. I got Dramamine. <laughs> I've never taken this before, but I feel like I always feel nauseous on flights, um, especially flights out west, because you're always flying over mountains and, and such, and especially if it's um, like really bumpy. So I just wanted to take to bring this just in case. I got some makeup wipes, always key for travel. I got two of these like little toothbrush holders. I wanted them for the toothbrush, not really the toothpaste because I like how this kind of protects the bristles from sliding all around in your bag. And I got one for my Orlando trip and one for my California trip. I got some Q-tips. Um, 
I got randomly this pair of jean shorts. Um, I really liked it actually. Um, this is by the Wild Fable brand and they were only $15. They have a little bit of distressing at the bottom. I thought these would be nice to just throw on with a bathing suit and kind of wear them for like more casual wear. And I also got these Peds like no-show socks. I always get blisters on my heel. And I know we're going to be walking a lot and I want to wear like sneakers and like probably a lot of closed toed shoes. So I want to see if these actually will do the job and not give me blisters. But anyway, that's everything that I got. I'm going to go take a shower and I will continue this vlog in the next few days whenever I get more things, whenever I decide on what outfits I'm going to be wearing. I do have my big suitcase in the back. It's brand new. I've never used it before. So we'll see if I like that. But that's all for today. So it is exactly a week later um, and I have a lot of packing to do today. I want to get my outfits figured out. I want to pack my toiletries um, because next weekend is Easter. I know I'm going to be busy. So I just really want to be doing like last minute things next weekend. And I want to get the bulk of my stuff at least situated and ironed and picked out. But before we do that, I'm going to go through, I have set aside the last couple weeks a bunch of clothes I want to take to the Goodwill. Since we went back to the office, I was able to kind of decide for some clothes that I don't um, no longer want. So I'm just going to kind of go through my process as to why I'm getting rid of these clothes, if that helps you guys. Um, I would have to say I'm pretty minimalistic. It's hard when you live in a place where there's all four seasons and also when you have like a professional job. So you need a wardrobe for that and then a wardrobe for like every day. But I'm getting rid of these because uh, the seams on the pockets broke. I was really sad because these were really cute dress pants and they fit me nice and everything, but they're just like a little ratty because I wore them so many times. I'm getting rid of this blouse from Express. It's just totally not my style anymore. Just like way too many patterns and I just don't care for it. I'm getting rid of this sweater. I never wore it. It's just very itchy. The same with this one from H&M and they're nice quality sweaters. I listed them on Poshmark for a while, but no one bought them. So um, if no one buys my stuff on Poshmark for like a couple months, then I'll just get rid of it. These dress pants are really old and they're just too snug. These are like from my internship, basically. I don't know why I have held on to those. Um, same thing with this tank top. I don't know, I used to be into like very tight fitting clothing and I'm just not anymore. And this is just too small. And same thing with this blazer, it's just very fitted and it's a size small and I would just definitely wear a medium now. To me, it's like so freeing to get rid of old clothes. And the same thing with this shirt, I just don't like how it fits. I mean, it still fits me. It's a pretty like oversized shirt, but um, I hate how like constricting the top is. I have pretty like broad shoulders and that's another reason why I gravitate more towards like mediums now um, because it's just very constricting in the arms and I don't want that. And then I also thought, oh, this sweater, um, it has like a hole in the top. Yeah, so we're getting rid of this sweater. So I have one big bag to donate to Goodwill. And I just always double check it just because I don't want to accidentally give away something that I like or need. And then I also have this bag as well. Yeah, and these pants are a size four. I would never be a size four right now. I think it's just so freeing to like accept your body for how it changes and whatnot. Um, this skirt, it is like a summery pattern skirt and I don't think I've worn this skirt in two years. I really liked it, it's from Altered State, but it's just, again, it's not really my style anymore. I'm not really into like a lot of prints. So I'm getting rid of that. I am getting rid of um, this turtleneck from American Eagle. It still fits me, just not my style. Again, I don't think I've worn this in like two or three years. Same with this sweater from Express. It's just, I hate the sleeves, honestly. I hate these like wide sleeves. They're just so annoying to like wash your hands and like do anything with. So getting rid of that. 
I bought this at TJ Maxx last year and it's so disappointing because it's just not warm at all. It's like really cold and you have to like wear something underneath it. And it just makes no sense to have something like this in my opinion. And I also never reach for it. Graphic tees that say Coca-Cola, pretty chuggy, not my style anymore, getting rid of it. This bodysuit, oh my God, it's from Misguided. Just way too tight. Express bodysuits are so much better. I'm not squeezing myself into this. This sweater from H&M, um, I just don't really wear it. I think I wore it in a video, but I never wear it. So I'm getting rid of it. And then this shirt from Express, I hate this like tie at the bottom. I don't know, I hate, I'm like a very picky person when it comes to like textures or like fixtures on clothing. And like, I don't gravitate towards stuff like this. So I just really need to continue buying like more minimalistic pieces of clothing. It's good to get rid of old stuff that you don't like to make room for your new stuff and whatnot. But let's figure out what kind of outfits I wanna to bring to LA. So here's everything that I'm going to be tentatively wearing. I know it looks like a lot, but we are there for a week. And I want to make sure I have both day to night and some items for cooler weather. That's what I really struggle with when I go to the West Coast is I feel like there's such a big fluctuation between the days and the nights. And it's not as much of a fluctuation over um, on the East Coast. Like, I mean, here it's it's spring, but you if you need a jacket during the day, you need one during the night. And kind of the same thing like if you don't need one during the day you're not gonna need one at night but it seems like over on the west coast there's such a big fluctuation i experienced that when i went to seattle and i was really cold so i want to make sure i have some things for nighttime i looked at the forecast and it looks like it's gonna be in the upper 70s and 80s during the day and then at night it's gonna be around the 50s so first i have this white um floral blouse um it's actually from zara but i got it at marshall's so i think i'm gonna bring this with these distressed um jeans as kind of more of a nighttime outfit i feel like if i dress it up with heels it'll be pretty dressy then i also want to bring my black jumpsuit from lulu's i've worn this so many times it comes in handy again i feel like it's a really nice um, dressy nighttime outfit it's also nice because it's pants and i feel like it's a little bit warmer this is going to be like an extra day outfit i always like to bring some extras i got this cropped set from altered state and then i got these new shorts from target the wild fable line i know people say lily pulitzer is over but i don't care i think it's really cute for the beach and when we go to santa monica i'm planning on bringing this I'm going to bring this extra dress from Target just to kind of have, again, just kind of a backup outfit. This is another little nighttime outfit. I might wear this to the rooftop or the black jumpsuit. Um, just this cute little black lacy dress. This is going to be my daytime outfit for Pasadena. I got this from Amazon. I love a little tie waist. I think that looks really flattering in pictures. So I think this will be a good picture taking outfit. I hope I'm not proven wrong. This is my other option for the rooftop bar. So yeah, I have three options. I just don't know how I'm gonna be feeling. I don't know, like this is definitely like tighter. I feel like if I'm like bloated, I'm not gonna wanna wear this. I'm gonna wanna wear the like flowier option. And then if it's colder, I'll wanna wear the jumpsuit. So I don't know. I brought this, um, again, I feel like this could be a day or nighttime piece. Um, it's from TJ Maxx. And I think it would photograph well as well because of the tie here and it's like a nice fitted but not too tight look. I'm gonna bring this little set from American Eagle. I think this is good if the weather is a little bit cooler since this is three quarter length sleeves. It's just this matching floral skirt set that I've never worn before. This is what I'm gonna wear on the plane ride home an Under Armour fleece. This is what I'm gonna wear on the plane ride there. Um, I feel like it's gonna be tricky because Pittsburgh is gonna be cold and LA is gonna be warm. So I kind of wanna go with those. Also, sorry you can't see my face. Um, we have the exercise dress from Abercrombie. I'm probably gonna wear this during the day when we do some sightseeing. I have this little black romper from Express. I think I'm gonna wear this when we go to downtown LA. I'm gonna wear this with biker shorts when we go to Disneyland. I think this is gonna be the outfit I wear on the first day, this little Zara shirt with distressed denim shorts from American Eagle. I think I'm gonna bring this dress too, just cause it's three quarter length sleeves and I feel like it's 
transitional for the weather. I might throw in this black sweater. It's not super thick, but I figure it's better to have something like this than not. I'm gonna bring a casual pair of like black Under Armour shorts and just have this so I can wear around the Airbnb. I think this is gonna be my Malibu daytime outfit, just this simple white dress. I don't think it's gonna photograph the best, but I just, I don't know. I'm running out of time and that's what I have to take. And then I'm also gonna bring a swimsuit to Malibu and then this beach cover up. I don't really know if it's gonna be warm enough to get in the water, but just in case. So those are the items that I have kind of narrowed it down to. I might bring like one more casual um, like jean shorts and tank top type outfit, but I definitely wanna start ironing some of these um, and then just like leaving them hanging up here so that I don't have to iron them all at once. Oh, I can't iron because, does anyone else's iron ever do this when you try to iron really sheer things? It like burns the clothes and then like the iron spits it back up and you have to like completely like wash it out and reset it. It's so annoying. Cause I was ironing like my work pants for this week and then I was gonna start ironing some of that, but it happened, whatever, it's annoying. I hate wrinkly clothes. I think steamers do not work and the iron is like the only way to get your clothes not wrinkled, but it's hard with lighter fabric. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. I'm going to start packing my carry-on bag. Sorry, I have a mint in my mouth. If I'm talking weird, um, but my bag was actually packed from a couple weeks ago. I was gonna stay over at Nick's, but then I couldn't. Um, but we have these amazing packing cubes. I'm gonna use that for my suitcase. I got this really cute Amazon um, travel makeup bag. It's literally perfect. Um, as you can see, there's like this nice little spot to put your brushes, place for skincare, and then like this huge compartment for your actual makeup. Like you can definitely fit a palette in here, mascara, foundation, everything. Um, and this ma this makeup bag was really affordable and it's actually like very nice quality. I mean, I, I obviously haven't used it yet, but it just like feels nice. So I'll try to link it below if I remember and if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, this is like stuff I didn't use. It was just packed from a couple weeks ago when I thought I was going to stay over at Nick's, which is weird. I haven't stayed over his place in a while because he's been working a lot. Um, but we'll see if I want to bring a hand towel. I don't know. Um, but I did get these, um, clean skin club makeup removing, um, like cloths which I typically just use washcloths at home. Like I'm pretty sustainable. I never use makeup wipes, but for traveling, I feel like I really need something like this. With my smaller packing cube, it's my wallet. So I'm just gonna not show that. <laughs> um, this is like makeup I take to NYX. So I'm gonna take that out. This nice face mask. I don't know if I wanna necessarily bring this. I'll probably bring my like black plastic ones. I have random popcorn in here. Like I said, I usually take this back to NYX, so. I have a little blush. Okay, this is for dirty clothes, but usually when I'm traveling, I put shoes in here. Like when I'm going to the place, I put shoes in here and then I'll put dirty clothes in it. But I just hate when my shoes like touch my clothes. Like, no. Um, I have this makeup bag, which it looks like it's pretty much packed. So I'll just have to go through and decide what I want to bring and what I don't. Jewelry, other random makeup bag, hair tie bag, hair brush, sticky boobs, ginger chews and tums. My stomach is like always acting up. Random eyeshadow palette and random hair clips. So now that we got everything removed, we can start from scratch. I honestly don't know how some people are last minute packers. I mean, I guess I'm the person that like usually brings everything, but comment down below if you're a last minute packer, if you pack like extremely early like I do. I wanna keep my first aid kit in here because I always, um, so make sure there's no liquids. I feel like I always get blisters on trips. 
So this is my absolute favorite bag to bring for travel. I love how it's clear, you can see everything. And it's also really easy to clean and wipe off. I've literally had it for years, so it's pretty banged up, but it's, it's nice. So I'm gonna show you guys some travel hacks that I have. Um, I'm gonna bring these two shower gels from Bath & Body Works, Pure Wonder and You're the One. I probably won't use them both, but I just feel like one shower gel for an entire week is not that much. Like one mini shower gel is not that much. Um, cause I would say like you could probably get like four showers out of one, but I'll probably be taking more like six or seven showers. So yeah, but what you do is put some plastic wrap on anything that you think might leak and then you're gonna, you're going to secure it with a hair tie. My hair tie is here, super organized and we just tie it around. And trust me, they will not spill. I'm also gonna bring this full size tube of toothpaste. I just find that like the little toothpaste, there's just really not enough in there. Um, again, like I brush my teeth like at least two times a day, if not three times a day. So I don't know. And you want like the smaller, skinnier hair ties when you do this. Bring, um, these Tula mini probiotic cleansers, I actually ordered them because this is just my new go-to cleanser. Let's see if this has a thingy on it. Yes, okay, so we don't need to, we don't need to double up. Again, I feel like one is going to be enough and I'm just gonna end up bringing the other one back. But, oh no, wait, this one's a lot bigger. Is it bigger? Yeah, I'm just gonna bring the big one then. What else goes good there? Mm, razor. People out there that are like really type B and they probably think I'm like actually insane for like putting this much effort into packing. But I just would not feel comfortable really going on a trip if I didn't do this. I just rather like have enough stuff than have to be like out at a CVS or something buying some random crap when I could be sightseeing or relaxing. So I would just rather pack a little bit more. And if for some reason my suitcase is too heavy, obviously these things weren't very expensive. So I could just throw them out. Is this broken? Also full size deodorant. We just need full size deodorant. Let's be real mouthwash i did have another one but i just want one with the lid mm. uh, hand cream i would like to just have everything that i can kind of take in the shower with me in this bag um so i'm not going to do the hand cream in there i don't know what i'm doing about shampoo yet i haven't decided if i'm going to bring full size bottles or buy small bottles but i think this is a pretty good start Okay, so now I have this bag. I'm gonna go wash it because it has like some weird toothpaste stain on it. I feel like there's barely any deodorant here. I can probably throw that away. Oh yes, okay. So I have like these little mini bottles of shampoo. Maybe I'll bring this. And then the conditioner. It's all packed for my last trip. How convenient. I'll do the hand cream in here. And obviously this is all going in a checked bag. This is also key, some Carmex. Um, put the lip balm in here. I guess I'll take a little perfume. You know, sunscreen, which feels like it leaked. One of these sunscreens leaked. I think it was this one. So this is my new suitcase. It's this rose gold Kenneth Cole reaction. Um, my mom and dad got it for me for Christmas. So it's a pretty nice piece of luggage. I've never traveled with it before, obviously. So we're gonna see how much stuff this sucker can fit. So sorry, my room is like a disaster right now. Did I just break the wheel? Like literally, God, my room is like a disaster. Does anyone else get like that when you're packing? You just like throw stuff everywhere and then clean up at the end. Okay. So this is the inside, it's pretty nice, it has some compartments um but i kind of liked my other suitcase better i'm not gonna lie i think it had more like sectioned off areas but this looks like it can fit a lot of clothes 
it's definitely not as big or as compartmentalized as my other suitcase so I'm really glad that I have the packing cubes because I think they're going to be very necessary and I'm kind of bummed that this doesn't have more like dividers and whatnot. So today is Friday. We are leaving on Monday and I'm pretty much done packing for the trip. Um, I'll show you my suitcase in a second. Uh, the last thing I have to do really is get my nails done. They look horrible. I've had them on for a month and I'm probably going to go with white or maybe light pink, um, but definitely something light and beachy. So that's really the last thing I have to do for the trip. And here is the final product with the suitcase. You can see the packing cubes fit really nicely. I have my robe here, some shoes in these compartments, bras, underwear, and then underneath here we have more packing cubes and just PJs laid in like that. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my California vlog. Bye.